Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this final video in my series on zero projects, I'm going to demonstrate how you don't end up double counting staff costs in your general ledger when you use zero projects. This video is part of a full series on zero projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into zero now and find out more about the issue. So I've got a couple of windows open here and I'll just run through the issue with you right now. So when you use projects, you remember that we first come into this section here for staff cost rates and we put in this estimated rate for our staff members and that rate includes estimates of their salaries and wages and their uh, pension payments, etc. And then we use that in our projects when we book time against these tasks to help us estimate whether the project is going to be profitable and also to potentially send to the clients through an invoice. So you might be thinking that if we do that and we also pay that same employee through our normal payroll, through our pay runs, that we're effectively double counting their salaries and wages. So we'll end up with double the cost here in our profit and loss. So if we scroll down, you can see we've got salaries and wages there. So some people make the mistake of thinking that the staff cost that we put in projects will end up here in wages and salaries, just like the salaries and wages from pay runs end up down here in the profit and loss. But that's not actually true. So when you post a pay run, Zero does do general ledger postings to your profit and loss. But when you're doing projects, it does not post anything to the profit and loss. So the staff cost rates over here that end up in here, they do not post to salaries and wages at all. So there's no double counting. So all they're used for in projects is to help you estimate whether your project is going to be profitable or not, which you can see over on the profitability report. And then if you invoice the client through time and expenses, it will of course invoice the time as well. But that time does not actually post to the wages and salaries section of your profit and loss report. So in Zero, when you're using projects, just keep in mind that your staff cost do not post to the general ledger and therefore do not affect things like your profit and loss report. Quotes also do not post to the general ledger. Invoices you create in projects do post to the general ledger, just like any other invoices that you create in Zero. And bills that you create and pay for your projects also do post to the general ledger, just like any other bills that you create in Zero for anything else. So that's just a couple of things to keep in mind when using Zero projects and how they do or do not affect your general ledger and your profit and loss statements. And on that note, that brings us to the end of my series of videos on how to use zero projects.